what a finale, right? But, oh my gosh, episode 11 though, wow. Oh my goodness. And then can we discuss why young jaws drop? Like I was like, oh, what? What? Ha, what? Let's discuss. Hi guys, thanks for joining me again. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Anne and on my channel, I review foreign international content. I like to say, we are not scared of that one inch subtitle. We have overcome that and we are enjoying a lot of stuff, right? We have diversified what we watch. Nothing against Hollywood, but oh my God. Hi guys, thanks for joining me. My name is Anne and on my channel, I review foreign international content. Today, I'm back to review the finale of Little Women. We've been doing that every week. If you've been here with me the whole journey, I love you. Thank you so much for always supporting, but wow. Okay, so the finale is here. We had episode 11 and 12. Uh, the finale was today. And I have to say, I don't know about you, but 11 was way more exciting than 12. Is it just me? I felt like at 11, I was like, oh, it was just one thing after another, after another. And I was just, this is crazy. First of all, in 11, we left where Pak Jae Sung is, now we know he was forced by his wife to jump off, right? He had to take one for the team. It was just crazy how he said, you know what? I always loved you. I always would do anything for you. And even if it meant death. And here she is sitting over here with the, you know, apples or pears with the blue orchid there going, you know, I could never do the same for you. And I'm like, girl, he's about to go and jump off. And that's what you say to him. How about thank you for being there? I know I never loved you the same way you love me. So crazy. San Ah is so cuckoo. Like she's psychotic. At, at this point, just psychotic, right? And then obviously we go to Inju and obviously she finds out her bank account is zero. And we know San Ah is behind all this. She's arrested. She's in jail. Obviously she's being implicated for embezzlement of money and connection with Park J. Sung's uh, you know, committing suicide and all that stuff. And let's just say it's not looking good for the girl. And then the way uh, Sang Ah came to see her in prison and threatened her about, I'm going to kill your whole family. I know your parents are in the Philippines. And then your sisters, I'm going to kill all of them. And then I'm going to watch you uh, sit over here, like just suffer for 20 years. That is my point in all this. Huh? That was so crazy and so sad and Inju completely losing it. You know, I was just, I felt her pain. I was like, wow, this woman is just taking it to another level. Cause she's like, I have nothing to lose. You know, my daughter ran away. My husband is dead. My father is in a coma. Like psh, all bets are off. She got, she doesn't care. She doesn't care who gets hurt in the process of all that. And then we go to Inki who obviously releases that video of Sun Ah with that fur coat and obviously shows um, how I guess now it makes sense why she's here, right? Spoiler alert, if you haven't watched, you wanna stop here because I don't wanna mess it up for you, but Hua Young is alive. OMG, my mouth was like, oh, what is going on? Like, Inju saw the body, she was there. Like, whose body was that? And it was interesting when she explained about the lookalike and obviously they confused her, the other girl for her. And that's how the other girl ended up dying and not Hua Young. So that's how uh, San Ah killed the other girl and not her. And then they just assumed that it was her and she died. And obviously the connection was the fur coat. And we also saw how In Ki Young gets kidnapped uh, by director Sheen. At first I'm like, is this a good guy or a bad guy? I thought he was a bad guy. And then when he kidnaps in Kiang, I'm like, definitely bad guy for sure, with the uh, Jogren society leader over here with the blue orchids. And then it was interesting when they were talking and how he's talk he talked about the mission um, of the Jogren society, which was kind of sad. So they had gone to war and Korea just like uh, forgot about them. They got money from the U.S., and really like they figured these people are gonna die out there, so who cares? And they were able to come back to Korea and kind of, you know, stayed on the underground 
and their goal was to obviously like i guess help you know the less fortunate rise to uh greatness you had to be talented so that was interesting it sounds like it was a noble mission and then it became this murderous society right it went crazy and then obviously director sheen finding out that san ah and her husband park jay sung have been killing people left and right to get uh to create their wealth he didn't like that and i'm not even sure how in kiang was able to convince him but he uh, agreed to go on tv with her and talk about the person where these blue orchids are coming from uh, in San A's house. She's got a whole tree. This is a rare orchid and the only way it survives, it has to be on this tree with really specific, you know, temperature and environment and that's how they grow. There was only two, I guess one went to United States and the other one is in South Korea and it's owned by San A. So everybody who's died and there was a blue orchid there was definitely done by San A. And here she was like, oh, wow, I thought you were my dad's friend. I thought you were on my side. And I thought it was interesting at the hospital scene where she brings up the blue uh, fluid from the orchid and jumps it in his neck. Woo! San A, I mean, completely crazy. This woman is crazy, like psychotic, like just really messed up. And I loved what director Sheen said to her, like, you know what? You're wondering why your father never gave you to become the leader. Remember her talking about that? Like I was so offended that he would rather give it to, to the driver's son, who was Park Jae Sung, her husband, instead of giving her and she was blood. And I thought it was interesting. She questions, is it because I was a woman? And he was like, no, because we knew you were always selfish. You were always selfish, right? And then I was. it was interesting that to realize that the reason why she's this psychotic is because she accidentally kills her mom. And so for her to heal, let's kill more people. What kind of logic is that? I was like, yeah, you are definitely, definitely completely lost it. Like it's completely, you have no idea between reality, fiction, all that. Girl, it was just so crazy. And then when Sun Ah, like, kidnaps uh, Hua Young to like take revenge. I thought it was interesting here, Inju and Choi were on their way out of the country. They were going to visit uh, Inhe. I think that's what they were trying to do. And then she gets this message and she gets off the plane. And I was like, girl, why are you getting off the plane? Don't get off the plane, stay on the plane. And goes right into the lion's den where Sang Ah is holding Hua Young. How crazy was that? The shower of hydrochloric acid. I was like, okay, this woman has officially, officially, like this is mental. Like, I was like, how bad can it get? And thank God, Inju, I guess, had gotten that gift of a, um, one of those uh, grenades from Choi's dad. I'm glad she bought that because it bought them time to be able to get out of there. And you have to watch what Inju does to uh, Sang Ah, I was like, who knew? Inju was the one who was gonna take care of her. And I was like, okay, get in there. Like, ew, just go away. You know, you being alive, things just are worse. Like, bye girl, bye, 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 right? And then her and Choi, by the way, I was gonna say like, clearly he loves her, but he never tells her. Cause you remember when he went to rescue in Kiang and that one uh, lady, who worked for San A ah, and Park Jae Sang says, oh, is the reason why you came to save your girl is because you've always been in love with her? And he says, if you knew I was in love with her, then why would you even try to harm her? You knew I'd come and I'll get all of you and I can take all of you, right? I was like, oh, okay. But when he's leaving the country, but for sure at, at the airport, he was gonna say uh, to Inju, like, look, I like you but he never does but he does say i'll see you again which i was like okay they still hope maybe it wasn't the time right it wasn't the time just so much had happened i bet you at this point he's probably thinking inju doesn't even is not in, into romance right now uh, no matter how i feel and i was so happy to see that it was him who watched out for yorin and inhe and made sure he gave them a safe place 
and then obviously he's the one who used Yorin's uh, Panama account and that's how he was able to put that money there and how cool was it at the court when we find out that he is gonna testify but he was on our side and I was like so then I'm like see I knew we couldn't trust Choi but then once he started to testify I was like oh Choi was always on the right side we can trust Choi he knew he had to play that side so he can be safe and then once you understand, then he was like, yep, yeah, I have receipts of how Ang Ah has been embezzling money with Park Jae Sung. And it was like evidence, right? That was crazy. And then obviously Hua Yang, to just seal it completely, uh, brought the ledgers that was electronic on that electronic app that was doing so well. Oh, that was so good to see. And I just love how it ended. Like, I love that In He was like, look, I'm not ready to see you guys. Once I've healed and I have painted all the mini painting to make sure that, you know, I'm good. I'll come see you. In the meantime, here's some money. Like, you know, in you go live a uh, easy life now. Like, stay in that apartment. How nice was that? The great aunt left in you that apartment that she always wanted just to, like, rest. You know, here's some money. Like, live your life the way you always wanted to, not based out of poverty. And then for In Kiang, who I loved, who came to her senses about Jog Ho, I'm so happy. Although she could have gotten that reporter job, she decided, you know what, I'm going to leave with Jog Ho. Let's go to United States. I've always wanted to study and um, I'm willing to do that. Even where Inju heard about it, she was like, I'll give you the money so you can study. I don't want you to go with Joe Ho on his money. What if something, you know, goes wrong and then now you feel like you owe him? Because remember, that's what happened to Inju. She married some guy for money and it didn't work out, right? So it's like, don't always depend on the man. Always have your own. I love that. And then obviously, Inhei sent her money as well to say, go study. I know you've always wanted to go abroad and study. Go study. And I just loved how she was like, nope. I want to come with Jog Ho. And he was like, you sure you're not, not going to regret it? She was like, no, I want to go because I felt like the reason why this whole time when I was reporting all these things, I was having such a good time is because you had my back. You were here this whole time. So I'm going to go wherever you are. I was like, oh. And then when he asked her, is your heart racing now? Ooh, romantic. But what a fantastic show. What did you think of the finale? I felt like 11 was like really like, oh my God, oh my God. And this happened and that happened and this happened. I was like, oh. so 12 was just like, okay, we gave you all the information at 11. So here's 12 just to kind of like, let's just, you know, tie the bow. And it was great. It was just fantastic. I loved it. Well done. Well done. It was an excellent show. And I guess at the end of it all, it was just a case of people who are greedy and psychotic and had some uh, mother issues in the, in the case of Sang Ah and Pak J Sang. I don't know if he was just, you know, maybe he always loved Sang Ah and willing to do whatever, even if he meant death. I mean, just crazy, but I loved the whole concept. The whole show was really fantastic. The way they threw in the blue orchid to um, make it mysterious. And then how they discussed about the struggles of social economical issues, like, you know, Sometimes being poor makes you really desperate and how society looks at that is just so sad. But at the end of the day, clearly being happy is more important than, I don't know, being rich. Because clearly that didn't save Sun Ah or her husband and they had the power, the money and all that stuff. So anyway, what a fantastic show. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Join me next week. We have another good one coming. It's actually a periodic piece and I love those historical dramas. It's called Under the Queen's Umbrella. Oh, it looks good. It has the actress from, she's been in so many things, but I saw her in Hyena. She was just in another one, I think about Justice, where she was a judge that was so good, but can't wait to see that one. It will be fantastic. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. If you like my video, give me a like, subscribe. It does help to support my channel. And I'll see you next week. Deuces.